laptop. Running Linux? No, that is not macOS. It's a skin, and it is indeed running Linux. So, this is my old laptop, and I want to move it today to my new laptop. This laptop is running Windows 11. Uh, it has a 3050 uh, Ryzen 7. It's much better than the crap that's on this laptop, the bottom one. So I've decided to move it. But first, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna undo all of these absolutely ridiculous screws that I've definitely not lost or stripped. So it turns out that I don't actually have the correct bits in my screwdriver kit. So I have to use this crappy screwdriver. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, let's hope I don't strip anything with this thing. It's not, it's definitely not meant for this. Oh, that was really craning my back. Now that we've done that, we can undo all the clips and it opens up easily. So, as you can see, we have the 8 gigs of RAM. We have the i3 10, 10, 100U or something like that. We've got the Wi-Fi card, and we've got our most important thing, our SSD, which I did actually replace. So this is not stock at all. Ooh, it's a bit of flopping around in there. All right. Um, I don't really need to undo the battery, uh, but and so I'm not going to do that. What well, all I'm going to do is take out our beautiful, pretty SSD. Probably not good that I didn't turn this off, but whatever. It's only in sleep mode. It's the worst that could happen. Now, these magnetic screw pads are really useful because I won't lose any of these screws. Let's keep them all together and we're all good. So now, I've got my SSD and we're gonna open up my other laptop. So again, uh, I'm gonna flip this laptop around. Now this time, I have only ever undone the screws. I've never actually gotten into the laptop. So I'm not entirely sure how to do it. Um, which is where my little friend, Mr. Screwdriver comes in. I'm just gonna unscrew it, hope I get it right. And if I don't, well, there goes my laptop. So, yay. All right, I'm about halfway through. I've taken out these four screws. And as you can see, staying organized when doing this is very crucial. Ignore this because I know how to put that laptop together. Since I've never opened this before, I need to remember that these are the top screws and these are the side screws, because otherwise I might put them in the wrong way and something might go wrong. So always remember to group your screws together. So it turns out I missed a couple screws, which I'm going to get now. I also got out this toolkit because I'm gonna to need some plastic pry tools. So now, according to the really dodgy YouTube tutorial I watched, I should just be able to fit this pry tool in there and just maybe just like get out. These tools always reminded me of guitar picks for some reason. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Fit that under there and get another one up, maybe it will help. And there it goes. So the next step is to pull off this part, which apparently pretty easy. It seems the Super Dodgy YouTube tutorial I was watching says that I need to go under here, apparently. So maybe that means under the actual, like in between the hinge. There we go. So it turns out that this SSD is tiny and this is the second slot. So I can actually dual boot, which makes everything so much easier. There you go, it's all installed. So now, I'm going to test this by turning it on and trying to boot into that drive. And if it works, that'll be very nice. Okay, now YouTube algorithm, if this video blows up and reaches like 5,000 views, I will buy an LTTstore.com screwdriver because that's 
so unlikely to happen. I doubt I'll even ever buy that in this video. Video option. There we go. And it's gonna boot now. Now I'm gonna set this up and come back when it's ready. And now it's installing. Alright, I don't know how long ago it finished, but I'm here now, so uh, yay. Let's restart now. wonder why it's doing that, it's very strange. There we go, it's booting. Alright, that's perfect. And as you can see, it has indeed booted. Now, there is quite a bit of customization I have to do before it actually looks good, so let's go do that. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours since um, my last clip. But uh, I think I've gotten pretty much everything set up really nicely. Um, so I'm using this um, really minimal um, theme for KDE Plasma. Uh, it looks really nice. I really like it. Um, it's currently, I don't know if you can tell, running at 165 hertz. Uh, um, and I've configured it so I can run it at 60 hertz, which was a problem to begin with. Um, I'm currently installing Satisfactory Experimental. Um, uh, I don't know if you saw that before, but uh, this is what Epic Games Launcher is currently looking like. It's glitchy as hell running through Proton. But um, yeah, I'm using Lutris for that, and it's gonna hopefully install it all correctly. So um, yeah, I also installed Steam, which I'll um. I'll show off um, City Skylines in a second, which is like the only game I got installed, apart from Half-Life 1, which not really worth showing off, so yeah, I'll show you that. just wanted to show how easy it was to get this working. I literally just clicked install and clicked play, and it's literally like every single other Steam game ever, and every single other operating system ever that can run Steam. It just works. Just like that, brilliantly well as well. This is not a native Linux game. This is a Windows game running through a Proton compatibility layer. And it's just working. Basically, it's really nice. I really like it. Uh, here's the file manager. Looks nice and purple, like KDE Plasma. <laughs> and uh, and here's the terminal, which is a terminal. Um, yeah. It's very nice. It's Linux um, on my laptop. Can't remember, but I think I forgot to show off this really cool lock screen. I know it's nothing special, but it blurs the background and it looks really nice. Oh, yeah, let's click yes. Oh, it seems to be happy. Yay, set up successful. Well, it's loaded. That's a good sign. Oh, okay. I mean, that's something. Yeah, turning down the settings was helpful, but the point is still there. It it runs, and that is really cool. Um, so yeah, join my Discord server. By the way, the link is on on my about page on my channel. Please join it, cause yeah, this is my setup. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope this video wasn't too boring. If you're watching to the end, uh, please do consider actually subscribing because. You might enjoy my content if you've actually spent this long on the video. I mean, it's probably not going to be a very long video, but still, it's point still says. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah.